Those who are, who are coming from Pungu, Babwata, Tangongo, must wait three o'clock in the morning to be picked up by the bus. Are you with me? You are insulting your own people. It is worse than it was in the days of the white men's oppression. You expect an old mother and old father to wait at the roadside without breakfast, three o'clock to be picked up, to get to Rundu at eight. Who are you to treat another human being like that? And all you get is a Fanta Fanta. <laughs> Where is the youth? The youth is tolerating this in South Africa. They will use those Fanta bottles to throw at the minister. Because it is not right for somebody to arrive at 10 o'clock and the rest have arrived at 6. And there is this nonsense now for any event, even baptism, ordinary, I mean, it was uh, in, in Mukwe last week. Uh, people arrive at 6. Who arrives at 6 o'clock for an event that starts at 10? <laughs> What nonsense is that? Yeah? The people arrive at 6, and somebody arrives at 7, somebody arrives at quarter to 8. Hello? <laughs> Who are you to arrange people like that, Irangombe? They look manga. <laughs> and the youth is tolerating that. Yeah? Who do you want to tell you to stop it? When you go to events in Germany, America, big events like the inauguration of the president, everybody arrives at the same time. But Diko Shoyune, three o'clock in the morning, and you sit there, you are an animal, you're no longer a human being. Why do we allow ourselves to be treated like that? You will you see during the voting here. Yeah, the president is going to be in, in this hall, I think, in about uh, uh, five weeks or so. Yeah. The hall will be full. And the people who will come here will walk away with more self-hate, self-doubt, and self-pity. What did you tanta? Eh? People come to you only during election time. You are voting cows without registration. But they go to trial. Yeah. The youth, it is your problem. Uh, Franz Fanon says each generation must discover its own mission. Fulfill it or betray it. We are stealing the future from you. You must claim it. No one gives you freedom. You claim it, you demand it, you grab it, you seize it, you take it, and you go forward with it. The youth elsewhere is working. President Obama's presidency and arrival in the White House in 2008, my friends, was made by the youth who contributed $2, $5. He became president not once, but twice. The youth made that possible. Don't wait for others to tell you what to do. We have true, we have water, we have the earth, we have everything. But we cannot do it ourselves. We need someone else to come us, to come and tell us what to do. Yayo Pakario Komisari. People who are lying about the SWAPO membership, they are lying. If anybody tells you I joined a SWAPO in 1976, I want to secondary, please beat that person in the face. <laughs> they are lying. It was too dangerous. Yeah? Those who spearheaded the SWAPO campaign here, my friends, I can tell you without fear of contradiction. Very few. Some of them were outside of Rundu. Yeah. Uncle Mark Hausiku was doing it from Ventuk. Uh, Cosmas Kalat Matanga was doing it from Tsumep. Liangurungura was doing it here single handedly. They knocked his teeth out, the police. The rest of us were dancing with the army. <laughs> we were so ridiculous. I was one of them. We were ridiculous. We didn't even know what we were doing. We used to go and sing, concert with the army. 
Now we are saying we were swap of fighters. Please, where was I? <laughs> we used to go and sing insulting songs about ourselves. For instance, Harun Secondary Corps, 